How would you battle the coronavirus, Koji? I might start by seeing if I can talk things out with the coronavirus. I think that your plan of like sending all this cure army stuff is a good idea if we can't work something out with them. Hi, I'm Koji. What's your name? My name is Axel. Axel? Nice to meet you, Axel. That's a cool name. My name is Adrian. I'm in Seattle right now. Where are you? Biwala. In England. Jamaica. Jamaica? I'm in Jakarta in Indonesia. Oh, cool. Do you know why we're here? So you have to draw and the kids or something have to have to describe the topic. Did you know that we're going to turn this into a coloring book too so that um, people can print it out and color it however they want? Okay, let's just do this. Okay, well, yeah, let's get let's get going on the drawings. So, what is the coronavirus? I know that we can't go anywhere because it's coronavirus. You're not supposed to go anywhere. It's a very, very bad virus. Um, it's something that spreads. We can draw it any way you want. Anything that comes to your mind when I say the word coronavirus. What's the first thing that you think of? Uh, a dragon. Maybe you can describe to me what your dragon looks like. A bird. A bird, okay. Why does coronavirus make you think of a dragon? Because it breathes germs like a dragon would. Maybe it looks like a dinosaur. It would be like really, really tiny and then it would crawl on its body and then go on its nose. So let's see, I guess from the inside of the nose, you'd see two nostril holes, right? be like almost like two doorways into a cave or something. It's the same size as an atom. It's just a tiny atom ball or something. Okay, so we'll start with the ball. Does it have a face? Yes, it has teeth. The mouth is a shark mouth or something. A shark mouth, okay. Uh, I think it's a monster. A monster, okay. Can you make the face and I can kind of... <laughs> yeah, a big face. I know what a pig looks like, so a pig is kind of like this, right? There's these weird lines going around it. Around the mouth? So kind of like Around that. the ball! Okay, like this? No, the lines go up, not sides. They're like needles. What are they for? They're for infecting people. How would you fight coronavirus, Adrian? I would get a, I would get a knife and then, like, cut it. Like, whoosh. Oof, violent. Would you feel bad about cutting coronavirus' eye? No. No? I would feel good. <laughs> okay, how would you fight the coronavirus? Ninjas. It has what? Ninjas. Their plan is to stop coronavirus. How are they going to do it? By fighting it. In her hands, does she hold anything? A wand. What does she do with the wand? And she like makes a lot of coronavirus. Goes in your nose and then it like throws like purple dots, like a light bulb, all over the body. Like this. Okay. It looks pretty scary. <laughs> Are you scared of coronavirus? No, it's not scary. Just sad that we don't get to go anywhere. I wanted to meet my friends and cousins. Are you going to school right now? School online. Oh, what's that like? Nothing like regular school, that's for sure. I'm in home-based learning. I do my HBO on Zoom. Yeah, so you're pretty used to this now then. Yes. At school, <laughs> coronavirus be a bully? Yeah. She wants people to get coronavirus because they're jealous. Jealous. Oh, yeah, maybe they're kind of insecure themselves, so they need to, you know, pick on other people. If the coronavirus could talk, what would it sound like? It would sound like, Rah! <laughs> It's saying that it's trying to defeat us all. Do you know anybody who's gotten sick from uh, coronavirus? No. Do you know anybody who's gotten sick? Um, no. Yes. My great-grandpa died from the virus. Oh, I'm really sorry to hear that. His name is Lola Shell. Grandpa. Do you think we could ever be friends with coronavirus? No, nothing can do. 
but we only have to stop them from infecting the world using our own army, the Cures. The coronavirus also has a cannon. It looks like this, this giant spiky cannon. Inside there's coronavirus. So if one of the spikes hit a cure, the cure automatically, of course, disintegrates. Yeah, I don't want to make it too violent, so I'll just make it so it's already disintegrated. Are you afraid of it? I, I, I'm afraid of um, giving it to other people. You know, that's why that's why I'm super careful. Important thing is to wash your hands. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I washed my hands before I got here. <laughs> is there anything else that you want me to add to the drawing? Dark clouds. It's not a battlefield without dark clouds. Okay. What do you, what do you think of this drawing? Does yes. this look accurate? Yeah. It's pretty good. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Yeah, I, I like this one a lot, too. What do you think of the drawing? It looks good. If you could tell something to this uh, dinosaur coronavirus, what would you say to it? I would say, you don't mess around with my family. Good luck having a nice, good September. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you later. Hey, Axel, so who do you think is going to win this battle? I believe it's going to be the Cures. Because oh, we yeah. are producing more cures than coronavirus. That's what I was hoping you were going to say. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. I had a really good day. Oh, that's awesome. You know what? This is the best part of my day, too. Thank you, Koji. Don't, don't get sh sick, Koji. Stay safe over there. Yep. Stay healthy. Stay sane. Yep. 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 <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. All the drawings from this video have been made into a free downloadable coloring book. So if you're looking for something fun to do in quarantine, head over to cut.com slash hi-ho color to download it now. Wherever you are in the world, stay safe, stay healthy.